Hi everybody, this is Pam, the one and only Grand, and I finally finished my project I've been working on for a while. The um, It's been about a year ago, I guess, almost, it, that uh, Angela H7030 and I decided we were going to do a swap, a handmade swap, and this is her main item. I wanted to get it finished so I could put it in the county fair Sunday, and I just finished it a few minutes ago. It took me about 25 hours to do the physical labor. Everybody always asks, so I kept count of it this time. So this one took about 25 hours, but that did not count the planning and uh, that type of thing and the thinking. <laughs> but anyway, and I asked her, she said any color was fine, and she liked a lot of bling. And I said, well, what kind of room do you want? Because she wanted one of the miniature rooms that I do. And she said, oh, I don't know. You decide. Well, I thought and thought, and I told her, I said, Angie, honey, I'm not sure what to make. She said, well, pray about it. So I did. And then I, I knew what to make her. And I hope she likes this. Um, she is a very devout Christian lady. I just love her to pieces. And um, so here's what I made for her. It's a little church. And I thought this was very appropriate for her. I'll just give you an overview outside right quick here. Let's see. And you know, every time I make something like this, I think this is just about my ninth or tenth one, I learn um, how to do it better next time if I make, you know, something similar. So anyway, here's a little bell tower. And here's a, like a facade, just a kind of a fake roof. And... Um, Let's see, the outside, I've got stained glass windows and some flowers, and um, there's little tiles, or shingles, rather, on the roof. And um, each of these little boards I did by hand. I first, you know, made my shape and and then put it together slowly as I worked on it. It's not perfect, it's handmade. And I didn't use any machines on this except my scissors and my paper cutter and my glue gun. And um, the back of it, let's see if I can turn it. I've just got it on a towel because my background was so busy it wouldn't have shown it. Um, it's just like this on the back. And the sides are the same. And uh, I'm going to scoot this back around now and get it fixed. I've got, now Angie, you said you wanted to know. I've got either my battery is down. Yeah, I'm gonna have to change my battery. Be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. Um, I've got to show her. She said that how everything worked. Now here's the little light. Yes, it's got lights. You just twist it and it comes on, and stick it back up in the top corner of the roof. And that will. There's a magnet there that will grab it. And there's one on the other side. Like I said, you just twist it. And then put it back up in the top, and that way we can see inside. Now, I hope it ain't fuzzy. Mine usually are, so I'll take pictures when it's done. Okay. I kind of modeled this after our little old country church, just a little bit. Um, there's a cross, um, and it's probably not going to show up, but I tried to make it look like wood bark using glue. That's purple, but it looks blue. And there's the crown of thorns. And there's the little Sunday school board. And there's a little old piano. And some flowers. And here's the pulpit. And I'm going to see if I can get my camera up here. There's a little Bible that I made. It's got a little bookmark. I know it ain't going to get it. And then here's a little... Um, table up front where they got the offering plates and I just put a candle and a little uh, scarf, lace scarf on it. And back there's the door to go to the preacher's study. But it really don't work, Angie. It's pretend. And then um, I've got little angels hanging on the wall. And there's a fake light. And that pew on the ceiling, I've got three fake lights. I don't know if they're showing. Just made them out of those baubles. And um, 
Oops, got my cord in there. And here's the little pews. There's six little pews. And they got little red padded seats and two little hymnals stuck in the back shelf. And I put little crosses on the side of the pews. Put some red carpet. And I, I had got some of that wood look floor from Michael, so I used that. And got the same thing on this side. There's an angel and then another fake light right there. And, um... Three more little pews. And there's how it looks. I hope you like it, Angela. I sure had fun making it. <laughs> I worked myself to death. And I just put this little um, chipboard bottom under here. So you got to be careful. The only thing that I had to make these windows out of I use my page protectors, so don't mash them in. I mean, they probably won't come loose, but if they do, I don't know how you'd get them fixed. My camera cut off again. It's got that setting on there, and I got it off once, and a while ago, I accidentally got it back on there. But anyway, so I didn't want anybody at the fair handling it and maybe mashing the windows in, so that's why I put this board under it, just for protection, so when you pick it up and carry it, you won't be tempted to hold it and touch the windows accidentally. Well, anyway, there it is. Y'all let me know what you think. And Angela, honey, I hope you like it. And as soon as I get it back um, from the fair, they keep it a week. I think it'll be the 9th. Then I'll get everything boxed up and sent to you. And, um, y'all, um, I'm going to take some pictures. Like I said, let me know what you think. And, uh, I hope I remembered everything I was supposed to say. Well, anyway, um, thank you all for watching. And I forgot to show you the little bench on the pen, didn't I? It's cute. I'm going to go now. Love you all. Mm.